Let's take a look at a few other useful tools that are available in Google Slides. First of all, just like we did in Google Docs, you can insert tables. Tables are a great way to organize information. So you can insert a table with how many of our columns and rows you would like. And when you get it inserted in, then you can um, change the shape of it, make the columns bigger, you can change the how big the lines are, you can change the color of those lines, you can do lots of things with it to format it, and then you will have your table there. And one great use for tables is to insert a um, table that has two columns, and then you could put a question here, and then have your students put the answer in the other column. Just a great way to kind of help keep things organized if you have them working in a Google slide deck. But tables are a great way to um, display data or questions that you may want. Another option is voice typing. So we had voice typing in Google Docs as well, but you can do voice typing here, but it's just a little bit different. So I'm going to um, go up to Tools, and I'm going to go to voice type, but notice here it says voice type speaker notes. So in Google Slides, it won't let you voice type directly onto the slide, but it will voice type down here in the speaker notes. So if I hit click to speak, then everything that I start to say when I hit the record button is going to be recorded down in my speaker notes, period. And then when I finish with using voice typing, I can stop the recording and then I can move what I have typed into my slide, period. So I've stopped the recording and now I'm simply going to um, copy and paste and I can go up here and I can paste that typing and it'll pop into my slide then I can change um, the size of it and I can change the font and I can make it look however I would like for it to look in my slide. So still can do that voice typing just have to do it in the speaker notes and then cut and paste it up into your actual slide deck. You can also insert shapes into a Google slide deck. So I'm going to go to insert and here I have shapes have all kinds of different shapes that you can insert into. So I'm going to pick one of the shapes. So if I have an arrow that I want to insert, I'm going to pop it in. I'm going to draw that arrow. I can do some different things formatting that arrow. First of all, I can change um, the color of the arrow, this outline. I can change the fill color of the, of the arrow. I can resize the arrow. make it whatever size I want. You'll notice they have these little yellow places here so I can actually adjust the shape of the point, shape of the line of the arrow and do some things like that. One other really cool thing about any shape that you insert is it can also be a text box. So I double clicked in here and now I can start typing text within that shape. So shapes are a great thing to use in Google Slides as well. Another tool, diagrams. I really like this and it has a lot of good features with it. So I can insert a diagram and I have several choices that I can go with. So if I click on grid, for example, then over here it's going to pop up and it's going to give me different options of things that I can insert. I can decide how many levels I want, what color I want it to be, and then I can insert it. Let's look at a couple other options of diagrams that we can insert. Let's say I want to insert a, a hierarchy. I can choose here. I can again see some different formats of ways I want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and change my level. Let's say I want five and I want them to be this color. And then I can go ahead and choose the one that I like, pop it in there, and then all I have to do is click in each box and I can change the text to create that diagram that I want. There are other diagram options as well that you can choose from that you may want to check out. 
Um, timeline is a really great one. So you can look at different timelines and put those in there. Um, you can also look at um, different cycles um, and diagrams like that. So you may find different things that you want to pop in. And then again, all the text is going to be editable. So you can change it to make it look like what you want. There is also the explore function, um, just like we had in docs. So if I am um, researching um, ecosystems, then I could always either go down here and hit my explore button, or I could do explore from the menu. I'm going to hit explore. And now it's going to bring up this search where I can explore. So if in first, it's going to just explore layouts because I'm in a Google slide deck. But if I click on ecosystems or type in ecosystems, now I'm going to get web searches about ecosystems where I could get more information. I'm going to get images that I could put in. And then if I had anything in my drive about ecosystems, those things are going to pop up as well. So the explore button, the explore feature works the same as it did in Google Docs. There are a few other tools that I just want to mention briefly. So you can insert other things like charts and graphs. Um, we're going to learn a lot more about those when we get to Sheets, but you can pull anything that you create from Sheets into a Google Slide Deck. You also have Word Art, um, which you may have used in Word in the past, but you have Word Art where you can do those. You can insert lines um, into yours. So if you want a divider line or a curved line or different types of lines, you can put those in there. You can also insert slide numbers. So if I do that one, um, then I can turn slide numbers on and off. I can tell it whether to skip the title slide or not. And then I can hit apply. And now I have a slide number down at the bottom in case you want to keep track of that. So there's just a few other tools that you can find in Google Slides.